Hello everybody, um, Aardvark here, and welcome to the video tutorial for Survival Utilities, so, uh, I'm on to update 1.3 now, I mean, take, the previous take of this video was 1.2, but I fixed some glitches and that kind of thing, um, so, yeah, we're on to 1.3. Uh, enough glitches. Uh, basically, every single thing had a glitch with it. Uh, so, yeah. I will be giving you the official guide for this mod. The idea of this mod is sort of stuff that should be in vanilla, but for some reason isn't. So, I will. Yeah, let's go on with it. Uh, so, survival so utilities. Um. Yeah, let, let, let's do these first. So, the first important feature of this mod is the ability to now track players' movements. Uh, so, now you may, well, yeah, you may be asking how, how is that even possible? Well, as you can see, when you walk on dirt, um, you leave footprints behind. And that also applies to red sand and also normal sand. So, yep, you can see my footprints were left where I was walking now. Uh, sometimes they get left over two blocks. Uh, but yeah, that's just how it is. So if I have a... Well, you'll see if I... So as I'm moving around, my trail is kind of obvious. So, let's say someone snuck up to your house, you can you blow them up. Uh, well, no you can't, but you can't, you can find them, at least. Or, even better, let's say you had like a system like this. Uh, maybe, you'd have the observer underneath, but you could have a track, uh, for like when they walk over just a normal block, dirt. They'll get blown up. Or you could do that with a TNT minecart, really instant. You know, this has a lot of possibilities, in terms of the footprints. Now, I know what you're thinking, that's really, really annoying, that's what you're thinking. However, if you crouch, or you're sneaking up to someone's house to steal their stuff, you can avoid leaving a trail of footprints. And secondly, actually, no, not secondly, let's just do this one real quick. You don't leave footprints underwater. You don't, so you could use that as a annoying way to get across like this, I guess. You could do this, if you wanted. Uh, well, I mean, that'd be really annoying. Uh, but you also, if you want to get rid of footprints, uh, you can place blocks above them, and that will just delete them. Also, you can now kill footprints as well. Um, so, yeah, the, the, you are probably doing anything that's going to be really annoying. Now, it's not all bad, because this mod does add a uh, light footed enchantment for boots. Uh, and you can get all the enchantments in this mod, you can get them normally, uh, like how you normally get enchantments. Uh, and if I just wear these, you'll see I no longer make any footprints anywhere, so that's, that's all good. Um, so yeah. And obviously we're going to take them off with some of the footprints again. Um, so that's the footprints. Should be pretty useful for tracking people, or at least that's the plan. Now for Searing. So Searing is an enchantment for... Oh, wait a second. Um, I'm just thinking... Oh no, yeah, it works. Alright, so... I'm just going to give myself a feature to test it in the world. I might have found another bridge, you know. These, all the, yeah, okay, it works. Don't worry about that. I'll explain the map off later. But basically, steering is an enchantment that you put on any tool. And it will auto-cook uh, blocks for you. So, yeah, it's an auto smart enchantment. So if I use it on this iron, you see it works. Use it on this. Just get in the stone. Obviously, you can't have fortune or silk touch with this. Uh, I'm just mining blocks. Oh yeah, no, I can't remember what you can cook. But you know, 
this should work on any block that is cookable. Okay, so that it's quite a useful job, basically. Uh, an auto smelt uh, is definitely something we need in the game, but until 2025, when we finally get it, considering the development speed of Mojang normally, we're just going to have to deal with this. Oh, I should mention, this is for 1.12.2. Um, yeah, probably should have said that before. It'll be in the title. And you're probably watching this from the CurseWatch page, so follow the page if you're interested in this mod. Uh, so, next up we have the flint shard. So this is crafted. I'm just going to grab some sticks and various other items. Uh, this is crafted just... So crafting this thing? Yeah, there we go. Just like uh, that, you'll get four, and then you can craft them back into so it's like a equal exchange. Oh, that was a mess that one up, didn't I? But as you can see, that works. That works fine. So what does a flint shard do? You may be asking in your amazed and thrilled uh, voice. I don't, I don't know what I'm saying. Uh, but you can you can use this for a couple couple things. Uh, so using this recipe, or might I add? This recipe, yeah, very fancy. You can make flint spikes, um, and they can be used as sort of something slightly better than magma, magma rocks, in terms of a killing mechanism. So, also, um, I'm pretty sure I, I don't. Know, I'm just gonna test them. We're gonna find out how good these blocks are, really. Check a pig there. I just want to see with magma blocks. Do they? Okay. Pig's gone. It's fine. Right. If I get those, ah, oh yeah, they do walk across them. Okay. I thought I'd found a fantastic piece, but no. Anyway, so the. Oops. I'll make some more. Uh. Okay. Yeah. Getting used up and creative. That's what I gotta fix. I'm getting all these release today. But yeah, this is the this is the model and it will do more damage than Magma Box. So as you can see that pigs die pretty quickly. Um I tell you what, I'll demonstrate I'll grab two creepers and demonstrate the difference. Uh so the one there, the one there. Uh unless these guys move. Ah, oh, he moved, okay. Oh, uh, that one moves as well. Alright, I'll put them in a hole. I am determined to shoot two creepers. As you can see, take two. This one will die a lot quicker, even though I put it in first. It's still noticeably quicker. And then that one will have to take, like, a lot more damage, as you can see. So, that's the flint spikes. Um, you have no idea the amount of java learning it took to create this next item <laughs> okay so this is the front the, the front the flint knife uh the throwing knife uh, so it doesn't do damage when you hit and i'm currently thinking that might have been poor design choice but basically this is crafted one like that and they are a single use throwing knife so if I, oh this is a mistake i shouldn't have so i will you can sort of see them being thrown there uh, I'm not very good with them, uh, but they do 3 damage or 5 on a crit, and they will do a crit every 1 in 7 I think, I'm not very good at hitting with these, but they're quite fun, uh, they do delete themselves after you throw them like a certain distance, not distance, time, uh, so you can't literally use them as a sniping knife or something, because uh, I think that's way too OP. Uh, but yeah, that's, that is the throwing knife. Uh, so that's a pretty, pretty cool one. Uh, so, you may be saying, well, what if I have lots of problems gathering when 
Well, if you use this proven shovel, which is crafted like so, an iron block instead of a normal ingot, uh, you can get, you are guaranteed, 100% guarantee of a flint shard every time you bake Blake. I wish I could speak before I decided you know, to film a video, I should, I should have realised I can't, uh, but you know, 100% chance of getting a f flint shard, so go do that, nailed it, and yes, so that is one quarter of a flint each time, so you don't have to mine for flint for ages, and have to keep breaking and replacing, so the, the proven shovel is faster than iron, and slower than diamond, and I think it has more durability than iron. Yeah, it does, it does. And less than diamond, so that's the proven shovel for you. The next item is my favourite, it's the rotator. Thanks to Turty Worty for, uh, well, providing a tutorial to plagiarise pretty much. I really wanted this, so I didn't really know how to do it. Uh, but, yeah, I know how block properties work, so I can do this sort of thing now. It's the rotator. It rotates upon right click relative to where you're facing, so it's not going to rotate there, but if I go this, 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 excuse me, watch, oh yeah, if I go there, as you can see I'm rotating these lower, I don't really know what's up with it some of the time, I think I must have done something wrong, I, I, if I, yeah, on that side, okay, as you see, you have to sort of do a specific face, but you'll be able to rotate it, whichever, whatever angle you want, um, and it doesn't update in Observer, by the way, which is quite useful, uh, and you can do this with logs and all that kind of thing, you can actually get the, the bark variant from logs in 1.12 in survival using this, and that does have durability, I'm just creative. Um, the next one is the hand plough, which is sort of crafted like a scythe sort of thing, scythe, scythe, um, which is one of those, and um, it's basically a hoe, it's a hoe, but more, it's fun, uh, so it does work on any hoeable type of ground, and <laughs> I love it, it's sort of ploughing fields, is the idea, I always thought, something like this should be in it, it's just so painful to like do a massive field and I don't think it should be. So here we go. Hand plow everyone. Um Ah, so next up we have another OP item. And you need to remember to keep ahead of Uh but we have the stream next, so <laughs> this is Oh god. This is right, the foam craft acts as the stream, okay? You probably have it. It was in foam craft 4, but then I think, like, the thing that it did wasn't. And the thing that it did was this. So every tick, one block from the list of streaming blocks will be removed. So this is server wide, it will do this one block per tick for every block queue to be cut server wide. And yeah, it, obviously it works on all types of wood, rotated, all that kind of thing. Had some bugs with that initially, but we're with it now. And it should work with modded logs. If it doesn't, just send it to me, message me or whatever. I don't know how Curse Watch works. Uh, but yeah, if you ever want to stop this, if it's a mistake, you can always leave and rejoin the world. And it does not save the list of blocks. So there you go. Obviously you can't do this on your, if you're on the server, I would just like, right, my advice is this isn't a mod for a server, uh, just because of this I am alone. I'll add config once I figure out how to, so that you don't have to have it, the stream X enabled and a couple of other things as well. I'm very croaky today. Um, but you know, ah! got about this, I'm very excited, the barbed arrow, okay, so this does one and a half times the damage of a normal arrow, uh, and it's crafted with one and a half times the flint, like that, um, memorise that to children, uh, so, the, so as you see, it's, stop moving, stop, so one hit on a pig, 
but if I don't have them, it's not a one hit on the pig. Uh, so yeah, that's that, that's that's the barbed arrow. There isn't much to it. There is a yeah, there's an audio glitch right now, which where it spams the arrow hits. I'll figure that out. I don't think it's got a state for being in the ground is a problem. Right, next up. Ah, oh yeah, right. Lightning rod. This is expensive. This is um, 99 and 9 redstone. And there is a bug with it still, but I'm quite happy with that actually. I like the bug. So, my shades are a bit weird, but that is striking lightning. It doesn't have to be raining. But all it has to do is receive power and be updated by something that isn't fire while it is powered and it will unleash fire upon the world. So yeah, that's the lightning rod. Um if you power it with redstone it will do it on and off on the on and on the off. Can't really see that because my shade is trust me it's doing it. Okay. <laughs> there you go. Got to see that one a little bit. Uh, so yeah, that that that's a very OP redstone component that I thought, you know, should be in, in, in survival. Also, note the fancy model. I figured out how to do that now. I say fancy, it's a bit ugly, but you know, I figured it out. Um, oh right, yeah, dull bricks. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> Basically sums up this mod dull, but uh, no, it doesn't. This mod is great, what are you talking about? Uh, I should probably add slab and stair variances. Should do that. Alright, next update, slab, I'm going to write that down. Uh, Alright, S3, you don't give me a sec, deals slab bricks. There we go, that'll do. Right, so these bricks are crafted using normal bricks uh, in the same way that terracotta is coloured. So you use red like that, eight bricks around it, or you use white like that to make the dull bricks. So why why these bricks, you may be asking? Well, uh, if the time would stop changing, I could demonstrate. Uh, okay, that's probably not the best, best way to start the horrible coloured ones. Um, but yeah, these are normal bricks, they're a bit, bit nasty. Red bricks, sort of similar to the alpha texture of bricks, is a lot nicer. And dull bricks, you know, they... I'm sure they have their uses. <laughs> I wanted a more limestone brick, I'll probably change the texture when I can be bothered. But the red bricks especially is a lot nicer colour for you. Lovely villages and that. Alright, that's so that's that's the bricks. Now, this is a fun feature. This is a lava sponge. So if I go into here, uh, into the nether, let's say you want to clear out a load of lava, obviously it's really easy since lava is an infinite source you say. We could just do it with water or whatever. No, can't place water in the nether, so you have to do this. And as you see, it's not refilling like it does with water. It's not infinite. So you place a lava sponge, and those are crafted using a sponge and a magma cream or blaze powder. By the way, all the recipes are on the Curse page. Just have a look. They'll be there. If they're not, uh, put it in the comments, because I've forgotten. Uh, but, yeah. Now, you, to you actually... I just want you to appreciate how long this took was it actually there you go particles yay dripping particles um but to actually uh make these back into normal ones because obviously you can't use the wet ones they work like sponges but for lava you just have to have water update them or you know just say so i grab a bucket and cover them water yeah, oh, that didn't really work. You didn't really get to see it. One more time. Water, there we go, and they're back to normal. Uh, I'm thinking of having these used for a fuel, that'd be quite cool. And what do you guys think? Like a really OP fuel. Like 720 items or something ridiculous. 
But, ah, oh, beheading. This is my favourite feature, probably. I keep saying that about everything, but I do like this one. So, if I actually, I don't even need anvil. Oh yeah, by the way, the block rotator works on anvils. Another epic gamer feature, if you ask me. Just like this boots on this protection. Alright, some zombie. It's not. Uh, right. I have to do it again. Uh, right. Some zombie. Some skeleton. How you burn? Oh, okay, that's how. Skeleton. <laughs> I'm sorry, this is taking forever. Zombie creeper with a skeleton. 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 There we go. Oh. All right. Summon zombie. And we're just gonna summon this one just for afterwards. I could have done this without commands, I realise now. <laughs> Can pick up. I hope this is the correct MVP. Okay. Let me just check. Pick it up quickly. Right, no. Right, we'll, we'll do that later. Basically, I'm just gonna switch to survival. When you have. Oh no, I want no health. Oh god. <laughs> no clue where we are now. Uh, <laughs> does it say where it does? No, oh, but it's just over there. It's fine, it's fine, don't panic. Yeah, okay, so this is going fantastically, this guide, isn't it? I bet you're really enjoying it. Uh, yeah, sorry, sorry, everyone. I mean, I'm trying, I promise. Uh, right, I'll get some, just get some better armor as well. There we go. Oh, they've all gone. This is unbelievable. <laughs> um, right, where are spawn eggs? Yeah, it should take forever to find my ones. Which one skeleton? Not skeleton. Is there a skeleton spawn egg? Oh, there is. I didn't realise there was. Uh, right, slash game mode. That's how I know it's raining. Right. So, the heading. You probably already guessed what it does. That's. That's well, I didn't really get the chance to demonstrate because currently that wither skeleton is having a bit of a moment. I don't think that's the mod doing it. <laughs> no, it's just the wither skeleton. Oh. Um, yeah, so as you can see, they're dropping heads. And you probably did have a chance to see that wither skeleton doesn't drop a wither skeleton in head. I'm not letting it be that easy, it just drops a normal skeleton. Okay, so this is mainly because uh, in 113 we have channeling, so we can get more pets really easy from the charge creepers. But in 1.12.2, it's really not that simple. So, you know, you got the beheading option, or you know, this thing, I guess. Which is that not? No, I guess it wouldn't. Uh, but there is actually a use for more pets now <laughs> in in this mod, uh, and it's pretty cool actually. When you wear a mob head, and this doesn't work with creeper heads, I should clarify, that's kind of because I'm bad at it, <laughs> and I didn't know how to change their AI behaviour. Uh, but mainly, because, just, it's, it's just mainly because, uh, okay, game mode S, oh I think I just figured it out, actually. But as you can see, while I'm wearing the zombie head, they don't attack me, and as soon as I take it off, oh dear. And as soon as I put it back on, you know, I'm best friends. And this is something that I had that should definitely be in the game. It just should. And if I put a creeper down, I'm just going to use that to detonate some of them. They still don't attack me. I can punch them. They love me. Okay? So it's good. It's a, it's a very, very good, good um, uh, thing, uh, and you're only sacrificing, say, oh yeah, respiration and aqua for the so it's not the best thing, but it is good, uh, and I think it's quite balanced as well, but, anyway, I'm trying to think what's next, <laughs> that might be everything, oh no, these like five things here, right, Matok, we're nearly done, it's nearly over, I don't know how many minutes we are in, probably like 20 or something, Matoks are crafted, 
across it like that. Um, so you have three of the three of the main tools, and then a gem of their type. It'll work with any plank of wood from any mod. Already got that done, I think. Uh, but as you can see, we can dig any kind of block with it. Well, any block these three can dig. Except for snow. Snow doesn't work. Uh, well, it might, but I don't think it does. I think that's just thing now. Check if it works. See if I fix this glitch. I hope I did. Uh, there we go. S. No, it doesn't work. You still don't get snowballs. I'll figure that out at some point. Don't worry about it. Oh. Sorry. As you can see, it does work at sort of axe levels of damage as well, so it's decent. And attack speed. Uh, so yeah, that's that's the mod. Uh, just to clarify, the recipes for the other ones are all the same. And that's shapeless as well, it doesn't just have to be that. Uh, but I hope you enjoyed. Uh, that is... I'm, I'm trying to figure out... That is everything. Yeah, it is. Um, and be sure to download the mod and follow it if you're interested. And if you have any feature ideas, please do put them in the comments. Uh, so, who knows, I may even add the, flab, the slabs of the bricks, which will just be crafted like normal bricks. By the way, normal brick slabs. Uh, by the time I upload this mod, enjoy, and I will see you later. How do I stop OBR? Oh, God, no, that's Xbox, what the hell is going on? I don't know, it's okay, bye.